on Moto Tech. 49cc Chinese pocket bike. This is a 2020 edition. Right there. I don't know if you can see that. Heck yeah. But yeah, it's a uh, model GS 005A. Um, engine right there. Anyways, I was really surprised that this was that new when I got it. Um, got it from some tweakers. Just a little bit of a frayed brake cable when I got it. I need to replace that still. Um, I replaced this to a newer carburetor. The little faster one or whatever they call it. Their little racing one. It's just a better air cleaner. That's all it really is. But anyways, um, uh, other than that... It ran when I bought it. It started, but the back tire wouldn't stop spinning because the clutch was hung up. They didn't even know that that little black thing in there, that little black box is a clutch. And they're really cheap. They're like 20 bucks. But I took it apart, and there was the nut that holds the flywheel together that the clutch expands on was frozen up. It was seizing on that nut that uh, spun off. So I just put that back on, and it was pretty chewed up, so I bought a new one. Uh, the bolt was just chewed up, but I mean it worked. It still works, but I just like to have new stuff. I mean it was cheap enough, so I was, you know, new, new, and uh, chain was great on it. I mean it brand new. I don't know what month that said. I don't remember, but anyways, it was pretty new. I mean it's 2020. We're in 2021, so we just stepped into 2021. I put LEDs under her, but Moto Tech, kind of a garbage little engine. I mean, she's fairly new, and it just bogs. It has no power. It's a little Chinese engine, though. The way the carburetor goes in, and then the exhaust comes out through the top of the head like that. The other engine that I'm buying is a Stage 3. I am already have it ordered. And uh, it's coming here in the next few days. I'll be installing it and show you guys that. But this little bike's been pretty cool, even though it bogs down when you take off. But you can see that throttle cable's a little loose right there. Uh, it's just not not hooked up very good not hooked up properly but uh it's just a little loose and then it catches right there so it's got this play but i mean this thing is mean i got it straight piped i cut the exhaust open get a better picture get a better picture of that just chop the bottom open it looks like some robot dealio ah but yeah, she's open now, so it's got a lot more uh, bottom end torque, I believe, now. It feels like it anyway. I'm starting to rub the tire. But let me start it up. Uh, review on this thing. Uh, I mean, 400 bucks. I think you can buy them new. The cheapest you can get them online. And it's, they're pretty cool. I mean... I don't have too much to complain about with them. Oh, that's my brake adjustment, I guess. That's pretty cool. But, oh, here's another little thing I need to adjust. This was actually not the original motor with this. This motor came off my skateboard. That's the original motor. And they're, they both run pretty healthy, about the same. Uh, that's like a 20-year-old motor, though. Or 18-year-old. But it didn't get much use. It got some use, maybe. I want to say... I don't know, a few hours of runtime on it, not very much. It just got dirty and set in storage, but that thing is pretty fun, especially when I straight pipe that thing. But I got it quiet for the neighbors because I like to ride it. But back to the Moto Tech. It is a good little pocket bike. I would just recommend putting a different motor in it. The frame is amazing, it's there. It seems pretty solid for a bigger guy, you know. It's pretty fun. I mean, I look ridiculous. My knees come up here, but it, she's very fun to ride. And the kids will like it when they can get riding it. Oh, there you have it, guys. You fire it up for you guys and call it a day.
and the kill switch. Sweet. Well, let me know what you think, guys. Like and subscribe if you'd like. J-Rad out.